All right, so in this video, we're going to go through the algebra questions from 2019 GCE paper 2. And these are the questions. Simplify 2x squared minus 18 over x plus 3. Number 2, simplify 10x cubed y squared over 35x to the power 5 y to the power 4 divided by 2x squared y squared over 7x to the power 4 y squared. Then finally, number three, simplify 6 over n minus 3 minus 5 over n minus 2. All right, so let's begin. Question number one, simplify 2x squared minus 18 over x plus 3. So what's the first step? Factorize the top part. So let's factorize 2x squared minus 18. So 2 is common in both terms. So we're going to factorize 2 out. Then what remains here, x squared, then minus 9. So that's the first step. 2 into brackets, x squared minus 9. Then you leave the down part the way it is. So that's over x plus 3. The second step, we write the 9 as 3 squared. So this 9 can also be written as 3 squared or 3 to the power 2. So that's the next step. It's going to be 2 into brackets, x squared minus 3 squared over x plus 3 then what's the next step factorize using difference of squares so this expression in brackets can be written as x plus 3 and x minus 3 so that's the next step so we're going to get 2 into brackets x plus 3 into brackets x minus 3 then what's the next step cancel the like terms so x plus 3 is common uh, on both sides on top and down so let's cross that out so cross out x plus 3 and also x plus 3 and then we're going to be left with 2 into brackets x minus 3 and then we can further simplify this by saying 2 times x that's 2x then 2 times negative 3 that's negative 6 that's the next step simplify and we get 2x minus 6 all right so that's the correct answer for the first question and then question number two, simplify 10x cubed y squared over 35x to the power 5 y to the power 4 divided by 2x squared y squared over 7x to the power 4 y squared. So what's the first step? Multiply the expression. So this first expression is dividing this expression. So once we multiply this expression, this symbol will change and then it's going to become times. Then once that happens, the numerator and the denominator will flip. So it's going to be uh, 7x to the power 4 y squared over 2x squared y squared. So since we've changed the symbol, the numerator and the denominator have to flip. Then what's the next step? Expand and cross out. So for it to be very easy for you to simplify this expression, you expand it, then you cross out the like terms. That way you won't make any mistakes. So let's expand this. So 10x cubed y squared is going to be 10 times x times x times x times y times y. Then 35x to the power 5, y to the power 4. 35 times x, 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 x. Then times y, 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 y. Then 7x to the power 4, 7 times x, 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 x. And then y squared times y times y. And then 2x squared y squared, 2 times x times x times y times y. So it says expand and cross out. So let's begin crossing out the like terms. So this x will cross out this x. That x will cross out that 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 x again. Then that x will cross out that x. Then that x will cross out that x. Then we begin with the y's. Then that y will cross out that y. That y will cross out that y. That y will cross out that y and then that y will cross out that y so we are left with 10 over 35 times 7 over 2 times y times y then we can further uh, simplify this we say 2 into 2 1 and then 2 into 10 that's 5 and then 7 into 7 that's 1 and then 7 into 35 that's 5 so this 5 can also cross out this 5 so we're left with 1 over y squared that's the final answer and then question number three simplify 6 over n minus 3 minus 5 over n minus 2 
So what's step number one? Cross multiply. So this six will multiply n minus two, and then this negative five will multiply n minus three. So let's do that. Then we have six into n minus two minus five into n minus three. So the bottom part remains the same. Just put some brackets around the expressions. All right, then what's the next step? Expand. So this six will multiply everything in the brackets, and then this negative five will multiply everything in the brackets. So we're going to get 6 times n, 6n, 6 times negative 2, negative 12, then negative 5 times n, that's negative 5n, and then negative 5 times negative 3, that's positive 15. So that's 6n minus 12 minus 5n plus 15 over the same expression, which doesn't change, n minus 3, n minus 2. Then what's the next step? Group the like terms. So this 6n uh, will we'll subtract 5n, and then this negative 12 will add it to 15. So we're going to get 6n minus 5n minus 12 plus 15. Then once we get here, the next step is to simplify. So 6n minus 5n, you can say 1n or just n, then negative 12 plus 5, we get 3. So that's the final answer, n plus 3 over the same expression, n minus 3 n minus 2 so that's the final answer n plus 3 over n minus 3 n minus 2 all right so this concludes the algebra questions from 2019 gce paper 2 if you've liked this video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already i'll catch you guys in the next video